viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at section C of the 2021 Internal Science Paper 1. Let us look at question C3. State Uxi laws. That's a question A. So basically it's just explaining what Ux law is. So uh, Ux law states that the force or load applied to a spring is direct proportion to its extension provided it does not pass the elastic limit that's what a hook's law states so basically what is key in this case is a force applied is direct proportion to uh, the extension, so extension of the spring, provided we don't go beyond its elastic limit. Because if you go beyond the elastic limit, uh, the spring is going to be uh, permanently stretched. Then uh, this will not hold. So that's what we need. To a state one, the force applied to the spring is direct proportion to its extension. Okay, provided we don't go beyond the elastic limit. That's what Hooke's law states. We go to question B. The following table shows the readings of a pointer of a scale for different masses attached to it at different intervals. Loma numeral 1, copy and complete the table to determine the force acting on each mass on the spring. So basically uh, we know that a force is a function of mass and the gravity or acceleration. So we know that gravity is a 10 newton per kg. So to find force for the first uh, mass of 0 it will be just basically a 0 times 10 which will give us basically 0 so this one will be 0 then for the next one to be 0 0.2 kg multiplied by 10 which will be 2 newtons then at the next one to be the same so it will be 0 0.4 times 10 it will be 4 then 6 then 8 which is 0 0.8 times 10 then uh, that's the force case then um, lemma number 2 Plot a graph of force against extension. So a force we know is moving from a basically 0 to a 8. So you see the intervals of 2 newton to newtons. Then a extension, so we've been given the pointer leading in a millimeter. We know that uh, before we put in mass is starting from 120. So 120 is basically a uh, the zero or the starting point. So to find basically extension, what you can do is basically uh, from 120 to 26, the extension is basically 126 minus uh, 120. So this is 60 millimeter. Then similarly, uh, 132 minus 120. Uh, so we have next it will be 12. So this is 12. Then uh, 138 minus 120 so this is going to be 18 then uh, in this case 144 minus 120 is going to be uh, basically 24 so these are the extension starting from here 120 which is uh, basically more like a zero so this is would be zero for you to understand what is going on so in this way it will be much more easier because this is the leading not the extension. So the extension is the, the difference with uh, the reading before uh, putting any mass. So once we have these numbers uh, we can uh, proceed and uh, plot this on uh, the chart. So when you plot this on, on the chart it will make more uh, sense. Like in this. So Remember, force will be on the y-axis, which is the first one, then extension will be in the uh, x-axis or on the x-axis. So now, what we notice here in this case, the interval is from uh, basically 0 all the way to uh, 24. 
so we can increase in the equal intervals of basically according to the graph so that they are in equal interval so that the graph is uh, well scaled then so let us move to basically at the graph then plot these uh, coordinates what we have here we have at the graph labeled uh, nicely so what we know is the extension on the x-axis in a millimeter then a force uh, in newton so make sure to label it nicely once you do that uh, it will be much more easier work for you to do so the first one is 0, 0 basically when it's at 120 there is no uh, extension because we are just starting then when we um we apply a force of two newtons the extension goes to six so it will be a two six comma two so extension is basically a six remember the extension is increasing in the interval of three three so it's in the equal intervals from zero to three three to six six to nine all the way up to twenty four so we have a two comma six which is at this point then next it will be a basically uh, when the force is four newtons the extension is up to twelve so it will be a uh, somewhere here then next it will be a uh, basically uh, when the force is six newton the extension is in eighteen so it's six comma eighteen somewhere here then next it will be a uh, eight when it's eight it will be a uh, basically uh, twenty four so it will be a uh, somewhere here then once we do that you can join these points using a straight line like this so this is uh, basically the the plot that we are required to do to get uh, basically the four max we move to loma numero two determine the extension for a force of five newtons so five newtons remember these are increasing in the interval of uh, two so this is one then this is three then this is five so five you join five this line all the way up to this point where it meets this one then it comes in down what you notice this is exactly 15 so the extension itself extension is basically a 15 millimeter then the leading leading on the uh, on the point of leading it will be basically 120 uh, plus the extension which is 15 which is going to be basically 135 millimeter that will be the leading on the pointer but the extension itself is uh, 15 millimeter we go to question C uh, differentiate between plasticity and elasticity so plasticity and the elasticity so the idea is just for us uh, basically to uh, distinguish uh, the two so for us to distinguish the two what we do let us move to the new uh, page so when you're talking about plasticity plasticity so plasticity we are talking about uh, basically uh, the property so this is just the property uh, of solid materials that it does not gain or gain its original shape and size after the removal of applied force so basically once you apply force to certain uh, solid materials they do not regain their original shape they are their shapes are permanently changed in that case we're talking about plasticity then on the other hand when you're talking about elasticity on the other hand we're talking about elasticity this is basically the property of solid material again that it gains its original shape and size after the removal of applied force 
that is basically elasticity so the difference is plasticity once you apply force the shape and the size is changed even if you remove the applied force it will not go back to the original shape that is the material a solid material then elasticity you can apply force and change the size and the shape once you remove the applied force it retains back to its original uh, shape and the size if that happens that we are talking about elasticity so basically this is the difference between the two